In this video, we discuss electronic transition for D block elements. The selection rule for this electronic transitions are spin selection rule and Laputi selection rule. Spin selection rule says when there is a transition, the spin direction should not be changed. If it is changed, the transition is known as spin forbidden transition. Next, we see the Laputi selection rule. For the center of symmetry molecule, the transition within a set of orbitals are forbidden transition. That is transition between P to P, D to D, F to F or forbidden transition. Or otherwise, uh, P to D, D to P, F to D, mm, S to P, etc. This type of transitions are allowed transition. Now we see the electronic transition for some D block uh, complexes. First, uh, we consider this uh, hexa aqua manganese 2 complex. It is a uh, light pink in color. Its valence electronic configuration is 3D5 in plus 2 oxidation state. This is octahedral geometry. So, it is split into T2G and EG orbital. Because of uh, this uh, weak field ligand, it will have high spin complex. During transition, the electron is excited from T2G orbital to EG orbital. We get DD transition. Uh, in this transition, the spin direction is changed. So it is a spin forbidden uh, transition. Due to this uh, DD transition, we get a uh, Laputi forbidden transition because here uh, delta L value is equal to 0. Next, we see titanium complex that is hexa aqua titanium 3 complex. It is a uh, light purple in color. Its valence electronic configuration is 3D1 at uh, plus 3 oxidation state. It is octahedral geometry. So the electron is excited from T2G orbital to EG orbital. We get a DD transition. During this transition, the spin direction is not changed. So it is spin allowed transition. Because of this DD transition, it is Laputi forbidden transition. Next, we see tetrachlorocobalt 2 complex. It is a more dark blue in color. It is a 3D7 valence electronic configuration at plus 2 oxidation state. It is tetrahedral geometry, so the D orbitals are split into E and T2 orbital. Now we can see how the electrons are arranged in E and T2 orbital. During transition, the electron is excited from E orbital to T2 orbital, so we get DD transition. So this is spin allowed transition. Because of uh, this DD transition, we should get uh, Laputi forbidden transition, but not. Here uh, the complex is tetrahedral uh, geometry, so we don't have a center of uh, symmetry. So this Laputi selection rule is relaxed here. So it is partially Laputi allowed transition. That's why this complex is a more dark uh, in color even though it is a DD transition. Next we see potassium permanganate. Here manganese having plus 7 oxidation state. In this oxidation state it doesn't have the D electrons so we should not get the DD transition it follows the charge transfer uh, transition by spin allowed and uh, Laputi allowed transition in the forthcoming videos we will discuss uh, the charge transfer transition in detail 
from hexaqua magnus 2 complex to permanganate the intensity color of the complexes increases usually weak colored solution having low absorbance so its epsilon value is low for strong colored solution it will have high absorbance so its epsilon value is high now we see the expected values of epsilon for these given complexes in the next video we discuss the charge transfer transition and types of charge transfer transition in detail thank you